Good morning, Cupcakes. It is a beautiful morning here in Zephyrtown. I hope your day is going wonderfully. So today on the agenda is, of course, it's snowing. Ooh, golden egg. Nice. Uh, so yes, it's snowing. And that's not really all that relevant to what's going on today. Anyway, on the 20th is the snowboarding competition, and we've been practicing, well, on and off kind of not really been practicing as much as we should because I keep forgetting. Anyway, in addition to that, we also have a surprise waiting for us down in the basement. Yes, indeed, our wheat is finally ready to harvest, and I forgot to bring the sickle, didn't I? Mm. Let's get that, and also get the wheat seeds. And that way we can replant them. And now, we will have enough flour for Spring Harmony Day. Although I'm not sure if we should really be given oops, treats to anyone but our wife, but... Oh well. But, <laughs> I thought maybe, just maybe. This is one of the things about this game that not great is the wheat harvest system. And then, to make matters worse, you can't buy flour. So you have to grow wheat, and it's also a massive pain to grow wheat. Oh well. But at least this is done and we've got it, like I said, we've got enough for Spring Harmony Day. As well as for the cooking competition, so we can make something other than our award-winning cheesecake. So yeah, I think that's all for the agenda today. I don't think there are any birthdays that are happening this, uh, the next few days. And obviously no events, no festivals rather, other than the snowboarding competition. And we're also not going to be trying to trigger any random events this episode. We still have plenty of random events to trigger, but what with the snowboarding competition, I figure it would be best if we hold off on the on the random events for for this episode. And actually, I checked between last episode and this one, and Freya is the only one of the bachelorettes that we don't have ten hearts with. So we really don't. Well, her and Amiko. So we really don't need to be giving Antoinette her flower every day. But we'll probably do it anyway. Go. Ooh, shinies. Double shinies. Yes! Bronze yeah. coin, that's nice. Silver coin, that's nicer. I believe we were one off of a silver coin uh, for a silver coin play of the Super Lucky Lotto. This last bazaar. So. <laughs> so. We get to have our dreams crushed once again. An another time, an extra time, when we go to the super lucky lotto. <laughs> uh, go. Hey. Honestly, that's just what the super lucky lotto is to me these days, is pain. Pain and crush crushed dreams. Go. Oh my gosh, can I... Look right here, you don't want any of this, okay? I've been accused of hitting you with my hammer before. I don't want to get accused of that again. Originally for this episode, I was gonna uh, trigger the Marion's pro proposal. Wait, hold on. Yeah, Marion's proposal uh, random event, but because the snowboarding competition is going on, I figured we'll do that instead. I did look it up, and you do need a six second time or better to win on the advanced course. And I was able to get that in testing, in practice, when I was trying to get a screenshot for the stream. I did manage to get under six seconds, I think, like three times. But, boy, it's not looking good. If you made it this far in the video, don't forget to like it if you haven't already, to subscribe to this channel if you aren't already, and my personal favorite, to let me know any thoughts down below. 
all that stuff really does help me out, and it helps my videos show up in your inbox more consistently, so do not forget. Ah, very close to, uh, to a winning time, but a new high score! Yeah, that's good for practice for today. Yeah, I don't think we'll make it in time to trigger the random event at the cafe, which is fine. Hey there, working hard, Ray? Hard as I can. It's the winter. There's not really all that much for us to do, except for feed the chickens, which we forgot. To I forgot to do. I throw the food and the horse would rather spend time with me than to eat. Goodness. Hey, Ray. What are you up to? Taking a break from work? Oh, Ray. Hello. Hello there, Ray. Feel free to ask me any questions. Hmm. Hmm. We'll just go ahead and have a curry dumpling. Or fried okara. One of the two. Hello there, Ray. Are you eating well? You're... Whoopsies. I, I'm sorry, I didn't actually mean to give that to you. I meant to throw it. <laughs> well, okay then. We'll just go ahead and do a ten, full 10 stack, which will take a long time, but it's, it's fine. They do not give you much wiggle room with a snowboarding competition. You need six seconds or better to win with the advanced course. And you saw, we got a pretty good time last time. We got a pretty good time this time. But it's not enough. But it is enough for a new high score. I'm sorry for being so down before. I'm still... Oh, zebra. Oh, I get it. Yeah, okay. Oh my gosh, that is a winning time by far. And it's also a new high score. Why am I still giving Antoinette flowers? I don't need to. I'd actually rather give these to Claude. Just because, well, I don't have many of them and I'm trying to be friends with Claude. Or we're trying to be friends with Claude. I, keep... I can feel our child kicking now. It's so amazing. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a Twitter account, and you can at me. Unless I say don't at me, in, the, in which case, don't at me. Like, for example, Imperial is superior to metric, don't at me. Someone commented on one of my videos, on the, I think, the waifu review. Um, it's like, at least leave your social media in the description. I'm like, imagine having social media in 2020. Hey. Not a big fan of Facebook. Or Twitter, or any of that stuff. I do have a Discord server, but I guess I could make a Discord server for, for. I mean, I was I was thinking of maybe doing that for, for the what what I guess I guess I would call it the Rain Man Media Group, <laughs> the streaming and the and the regular playthroughs stuff, videos, words. Ready for the snowboard tournament today! Oh gosh, that was off. I'm so sorry. Great! Let's get started! Okay. Hello and welcome to the snowboard tournament! This year's race will be on the advanced course! Now the racers! Racer number one, Ray! Racer number two, Marshall! Race at number three, Ash! The racers will be competing for the fastest time! Who's going to turn up the heat in the middle of winter? Let's get this snowboard tournament started! I, I'm sorry, I think my... My Felix voice is all off today. But... Oh gosh, I'm so nervous, come on! That's a winning time! That's a winning time! 
wonderful! What a race! Here are the times! Ray, 5.97 seconds! Marshall, 9.72 seconds! Ash, 6.99 seconds! So the results are third place Marshall, second place Ash, and the winner is Ray! Congratulations! We are the champions, my friends. Down, down, and we'll keep on fighting to the end. Next year's race will be on the beginner course. I hope I'll see you all there. Yes, yes, silly me, I almost forgot. Here's your prize for winning. To Sandros. Congratulations again! Yes. Not bad, Ray. Nice job. <laughs> Congratulations. I knew you would win. Oops. This is very nice. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Well done. Well, Ray. Congratulations. <laughs> well done, Ray. Congratulations. Wow, Ray. Congratulations. Wow, oh, Ray, congratulations. Congratulations, Ray. You did great. <laughs> congratulations. Nice. Way to go, Ray. Oh, oh, oh. Congratulations. Wow. Wow. Well done, Ray. Not bad, Ray. You didn't let me down. Not your psychic. Wow, Ray. Congratulations. Well, I'm so happy for you. Ha ha ha, I can't believe you won. Congratulations, Ray. Good job. Hey, not bad. Congratulations. Hey, yeah. You did great, Ray. That was great. Well done. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh my goodness. Did we talk to everybody? Get congratulations from everyone. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. So last year, we had a montage. We had a training montage and we lost. We lost catastrophically. This year, no training montage and we win. YouTube analytics, one of the things that they can do, one of the things that they do is they tell you uh, when people when people that watch your videos are online or on YouTube. And this kind of gives you this impression of, of when is the best time to upload. Because a video that gets, say, for example, 10,000 views in the first hour and then 5,000 views in the next hour, um, YouTube's going to like that video a lot more than one that gets 5,000 views in the first hour and 10,000 views in the second hour, you know? You know what I'm saying? So even though both videos got the same number of views in the first two hours, it YouTube thinks that one is better than the other. And uh, so, but the thing is, is that you need to have, I don't know if it's that you need to have a certain number of unique viewers or if you need to have a certain, you know, sub, you know, active subscribers or things like that. But finally, this morning, YouTube uh, gave me the chart started giving me the chart. So finally I have enough people watching my videos that I can actually know when the best time to upload them is. And uh, I've been uploading them at 2 p.m., but YouTube tells me, and of course I must follow the almighty YouTube algorithm, worship it and all that, um, it tells me that I'm actually supposed to be uploading at 6 a.m. instead of, instead of 2 p.m. Because a lot of people, and I have noticed that. I have noticed that people tend to watch my videos um, the morning after I upload them, rather than right when I upload them. And so once I catch up with with all of the stuff with with the video editing, because I fell behind the past few days, once I catch up with that, um, I'm gonna want to start uploading at 6 a.m. I'm still gonna be streaming though at the same time, at 3 p.m. Although at the same time, that would actually give people um, a chance to, mo more of a chance to, you know, know about my stream, know about the stream for the day and all that kind of stuff. To prepare the day for it. Okay, so it is bizarre time. 
bizarre team, bizarre time tomorrow, and so we're gonna wanna prepare for that. I don't know, I, like, this is the thing, right, is that I don't expect to be, like, a professional YouTuber. This is not something that I can really do as a job, I don't think. I mean, I'm playing, you know, the Ranch Story series. This is not a well-known series. It's not something that a lot of people would be all that interested in watching somebody play. And so, it's not like I'm trying to, to do that, but at the same time, yeah, I kind of would like to expand my audience and all this kind of stuff. And we forgot to feed our horse. Hold on. But I would like to expand my audience and hopefully, maybe, one of these days, introduce, you know, ranch story games to people that have never heard of them before. Because I would really like to do that, I think. It is an underappreciated series, and that would be kind of nice. Like, someone sees, oh, Harvest Moon Grand Bazaar shows up in the recommended, and it's like, oh, wow, I've never heard of this series before. This looks great. I'd like to give it a try. Um, but yeah, I would like to do that. That that would be nice, but as far as actually doing YouTube professionally, eh, but growing the channel, yeah, that's something that I would like to do. And so, um, yeah, uploading at a good time is probably something I want to do. I think that's kind of like what the main goal of my, of this channel should be is is introducing people to ranch, to the Ranch Story series. And that'd be really nice to be able to do. Or could just, you know, make it feel a little less lonely. People could could play along, you know, like Laws does. Um, plays plays uh, the game while I'm playing it, and uh, yeah, feels a little bit more like a multiplayer game then. Well, tomorrow's the bazaar, but for this episode, we're gonna have to call it here. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the rest of your day is a good one, and I hope that I will see you later. Bye. You know, you for example, ground meat is often sold in packs of 450 to 500 grams because that's the best approximation of metric in metric of a pound and so i was like hey listen you know they you know they sell the the um the meat in in how how large a size and they're like oh well you know the ones that try and keep it to a reason you know a certain amount they you know try and keep it around 450 i'm like okay that's a pound and then the person, I swear this is what, this is, was their exact response. They said, oh, I don't know how, I didn't know how much it was. I just know that it's a really great amount. Go! Yeah, it's such a great amount. Imagine if someone made a system of measurements based off of that amount. That'd be crazy. Go!